when I get the request from um, the CEO of Plot Thai Ventures to fly over to Seoul to talk to him about like Plot Thai Ventures in Vietnam. And I have support for more than 20 startups. Learn more, I want to do the bigger deal. So that's why I joined the Lot of Ventures. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Huy Pham. I'm working as a managing director of Lot of Ventures Vietnam. Uh, I'm lucky to start my career path in this industry since 2016 and I have support for more than 20 startups to fundraising successfully. And I also uh, involved and led at least a 45 investment deal. As I say that I start this career path in 2016, early in Vietnam. So not many people in Vietnam know about what is startup or what is like VC. So I have like a long time in experience in this industry, but most of my time I'm working with very early stage startup. So after seven years, I'm thinking that I need to be learn more. I want to do the bigger deal. So that's why I joined the Lotte Ventures. At the beginning, mm -hmm. when I get the request from um, the CEO of Lotte Ventures to fly over to Seoul mm -hmm. to talk to him about like Lotte Ventures in Vietnam, mm -hmm. I'm really excited about his plan because Lotte Ventures in Vietnam is the first fund in Vietnam. Mm -hmm established by Vietnam laws, wow. but the capital comes from the overseas. So that is really good for Vietnam startup in mm. particularly mm. and for the whole startup ecosystem in general, mm. because we can be the, the case study for other overseas corporates to set up a fund in Vietnam. Mm. So I'm really expect Samsung or SK, they can do the same fund like us in the future. Mm. Also, Lotte Ventures, they have like more than 20 subsidiaries in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So when we do investment in Vietnam, mm -hmm. it's really good for startups to support them, to help them to access into the business of Lotte Ventures, of Lotte Group in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, uh, we have few programs to support mm -hmm. the both startups in Vietnam and uh, Korea. So normally we will have, for investment side, mm -hmm. we will have an accelerator program, and we also have another VC fund. So for accelerator program, we will focus on the early stage startup who focus on the Vietnam market. So that is can be like suitable for the not only startup in Vietnam but also for like Korean startup who yeah. want to expand to Vietnam. Mm. So I think a Korean startup, uh, what they need when they come to Vietnam, they need a local partners. They need someone can help them give to them more insight about the market, help them about the legal, connect to some. Uh, local partners. So I think that is the uh, investment side. So we can invest uh, up to $1 million for one startup for both. For both. So the program is for both Koreans and for Vietnam startup as long as they uh -huh. focus and they target to Vietnam market. Okay. And we also have some program uh, cooperate with Korean government to help and uh, to bring the Korean startup. So every year uh, we will bring like, 10 Korean startup to go to Vietnam. And if uh, any Korean startup who is interested in Vietnam, they can contact to a lot of ventures. So we can guide them how to accept that program to get uh, some funding, even the, the funding come from uh, Korean governments. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have the plan in 2023, mm -hmm. we will bring like seven or 10 Vietnam startup mm -hmm. to go to uh, Korean for fundraising. Mm -hmm. It could be like in autumn or in winter this year. So I hope that we can uh, introduce uh, some very outstanding Vietnam startup to like VC in Korea. Workflake is a team come from the Lotte group in Vietnam. So they mainly operate this uh, working space. Uh, the Workflake and Lotte Ventures, we plan to turn this place to become like startup hub for Korean startup when they come to Vietnam. A few days before the Tet holiday, Lotte Ventures brought uh, some um, Korean government uh, officers fly to over here and we introduce them this place. We also bring some um, very good uh, setup, both Korean and uh, Vietnamese setup based in Vietnam to introduce to them. So we plan to make some program in this place to attract more Korean setup. Okay. And even VC, mm -hmm. when they come to Vietnam, just like you, even like uh, one to two people, we can have a small room for, for everyone. Okay. So it's really good when the setup, they come here they can meet many, many uh, VC. Uh, that is my own program.
that is my own program because before working uh, in Lotte Ventures, uh, I used to brought many Vietnamese startups to go to uh, Korean before. So I see uh, there is a lot of like benefit to the startup. So I think that is no reason for not doing that. Okay. We focus uh, both a tech and non-tech startup mm -hmm. for investment. But the first thing we want to see like the startup they need business model which can be scalable and repeatable. And some sector, some specific sector we want to looking for is like consuming a goods, a hotel and F&B, mm -hmm. which one is, uh, that is the strength of the Lotte Group in Vietnam. Uh, we also fo focus on the fintech. We also focus on uh, entertaining some um, solution in uh, agriculture. If the startup they can align with the yeah. Lotte Group uh, subsidiaries, the business in Vietnam, that is, that could be an uh, advantage. So we want to contribute more to Vietnam, mm. not only like financing, but also like help the young people to uh, build their own company, to help them their own dream. So that is what we want to do for society. Uh, sure, I think there's uh, many things we can cooperate. Still, there's some difference between uh, uh, Vietnam startup and Korean startup. But if we see Vietnam startup ecosystem, the Korean startup ecosystem could be like 10 or 15 years uh, far from uh, Vietnam. Mm. So I think there's something the Korean startup, they experience already. Mm. So they can bring that experience, go to Vietnam. Mm. And the startup in Vietnam, we need the solution. So we need some lesson learned from that. For example, a few years ago, when I met Go to Joy, that is like a Korean startup. Yeah. At that time, they just came to Vietnam mm. and they said that they, that business model that is like not yeah. new in, in Korea, Korea yeah. but that is new in Vietnam. Mm. So in Vietnam, we need some kind of that service. So that is very good to bring uh, the solution and the idea from the Korean to Vietnam. And uh, in another side is in Vietnam, the startup just mainly like the service, just provide the service. We don't have much the deep tech mm. startup. The Korean is very good in making product. So I think when the Korean startup, they come to Vietnam, they can help the quality of our product get be better. Mm. Sure, mm. that is the reason we set up our own fund. Mm. Because uh, Lotte Ventures have uh, experience to invest in some uh, Vietnam local fund already. Mm. Now the size of the fund is $10 million. Oh. Uh, so that is, we want to test the market test and to fund. see uh, how the market is going. Test fund. Yeah, test fund. Lotte Group, they have a lot of resources and we have many potential LP to join our fund. When we can prove that Vietnam market is really good and have many opportunities for the VCs, mm. so I believe that there will be more capital from not only Lotte Group, but also from others, uh, corporate or others VC from in Korea will come to Vietnam. Well, uh, in the short term, we can see that in this year, 23, there will be some uh, difficulties for the startup, mm. not only in Vietnam, but also in all over the world. We can see that the winter of the startup is coming and now it's tough to Vietnam in these years. So for the VCs, uh, they're still ready to do investment, mm. but I think they will be more carefully and they will have more investment process will be more complex and they will request more number and traction. Mm. And also consuming uh, spending is slow, slow down. So for this year, it could be a little bit tough for the startup. But in general, in long term, I always believe in startup uh, ecosystem in Vietnam will be grow very rapidly uh, because Vietnam have very healthy uh, economic conditions. In last year, 2022, uh, the GDP is more than 8% highest uh, growth rate in the world. And I think that we still remain that high numbers in this year, 2023. So the economy is good, the market is good, so that is have more opportunities uh, for the startup. And um, the market in Vietnam is young, but our, uh, our market is large with more nearly 100 million population. That is have a lot of opportunities for the startup and for the VC as well. So for me, now is the golden time for any startup, for any VC who want to go to Vietnam, not only like in domestic, but also for international startup and VCs. Great. And I think there's uh, one more very interesting uh, point is the
the connection between Vietnam and Korea. Mm. We can see some successful case like Samsung and Lotte in Vietnam. So there will be more corporate and VC will come to Vietnam because they see there's yeah. some successful case in Vietnam already. And uh, the culture is quite similar. And uh, Vietnamese also really love the Korean, especially like the Mr. Park Hang Seo, our like yes, football yes. coach. Yeah, he's really successful in Vietnam and he is our hero. So that's why we have very common sense to work together. Yeah. Thank you for your time today. Thank you, Thank you so much.